Hello again. MDTalk is a Python program capable of generating a table of contents in Markdown, called Talk in short. Although GitHub and GitLab now offer linked menus in their web interface, MDTalk works completely offline. This means that it can be used for services not having those embedded menus, such as the static website generator Jekyll. MDTalk is written in Python and offers a command line interface and an API in the form of functions. To automatically generate the talks for Markdown files in Git repositories, I suggest using the pre-commit hook. The table of contents can be generated in multiple formats and combinations. I'll now show you feature by feature what MDTalk is capable of. What you see happening here in the command line interface is also available in the Python API. Let's start with this simple markdown file which contains 6 headers and some random text. By looking at mdtalks help, we can see all possible options. In this first example I use the github markdown parser because it's the one most commonly used. If you call mdtalk without options, you'll get an indented list of headers with their anchor links. By using the minus L option, you can filter headers by maximum depth. The usual values are between 1 and 6, and they depend from the parser. As you can see here, I first selected a maximum level of 6, and then 1 in a second run. Another important feature of MDTalk is the possibility to write the talk directly in the file, i.e. in place. To do this, I used a specific HTML comment. This comment called talk marker in mdtalk gets replaced with a table of contents. Since the output of mdtalk is a list, you can also decide to avoid indentation by using the minus i option. You can also decide to remove the anchor links by using the minus l option before the parser name. MDTalk also gives you the possibility to combine multiple options. Here, for example, I removed indentation and anchor links at the same time. Until now, we've seen unordered talks. It is also possible to output ordered lists and to choose the list marker both for the ordered and unordered lists. The GitHub parser supports several symbols such as the dot, the round bracket, the star, the plus and minus characters. The heading level coherence check option checks if the heading sequence is consecutive so that the list indentation in the output is coherent with the headings in the file. In this example, I removed an h2 header between an h1 and h3. When I run mdtalk, an exception is raised. This option is activated by default, but it can optionally be disabled like I did here. In this case, the H3 header is placed at the same level as an H2 one. Another option is the possibility to skip any number of lines of a file to ignore some headers. This is achieved through the minus S option. Reading content from the standard input is customary in CLI environments. MDTalk can do that as well. If you want to build a talk for multiple files, you just have to put a sequence of file names as the last argument of MDTalk. In this example we have the test.md and test2.md files. If you need to change new lines, for example, because you are working with Windows files on GNU Linux systems, you can do that with mdtalk. To verify the type of new line you can use cat with the minus c option like this. mdtalk supports multiple markdown parsers such as github, gitlab, gitty, red carpet, etc. In this specific example, you can see how consecutive spaces are handled differently. Full compatibility and compliance is not yet complete. It's hard to keep track of all the rules. You can find more information about this in the documentation.
The build talk API method is the simplest and straightforward method to create a table of contents. Build talk outputs the talk in the form of a string. If you want to add the talk to a file, you need to call the write string on file between markers function. You can also look at the feature comparison tables. The upcoming new version of MDTalk 8.2.0 has a new feature which consists in checking if the existing talk in a file is different from the one newly generated. If the talks are the same, the return value of MDTalk is 0, in the other case it's 128. Let's now see the pre-commit hook in action. What you see here is a git repository with pre-commit already configured. Aside from running the default hooks, I also configured pre-commit to run mdtalk when a markdown file is changed. Once you add the talk marker in a file, it works out of the box. After pushing the new git commit to my GitE instance, I can immediately see the resulting talk with clickable links in the readme file. You can install mdtalk using pip or distribution packages such as the ones for Arch Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, Nix, etc. That's all for now, if you liked this video put a thumbs up and remember to comment and subscribe. Bye bye!